everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Samantha. Today's video is a requested video to do with um, pain control for endometriosis. Um, I'm really excited, I love getting requests. Please keep those coming in by commenting below um, and I'll get on to those. I really prefer making these kind of videos because obviously I know someone wants to see it. <laughs> um, it's just always better than me kind of guessing what people might want to see. So please do keep those um, coming in. Um, as some of you know, I do suffer myself with stage four endometriosis and IBS. So if you do suffer with either of those also, please do subscribe. I make a ton of videos on both. And I'm currently looking to hopefully up my content. I've just got a new camera, um, which is definitely an improvement from what I was using to film, which was my iPad, which was no good really. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at putting these out more regularly and providing you with better content to watch so that your viewing experience is better. Um, I'm also learning a bit of editing at the moment, but I'm doing it as I go. So just bear with me um, and hopefully things will improve uh, visually. Um, so um, this is mainly to do with the medical side of, of things. Um, pain wise. Um, if you want to see like a holistic or alternative therapy um, video then please let me know in the comments below. So the one at the top um, is to do with heat. So a simple hot water bottle is good, it's quite soothing. Um, personally I find these really helpful. Um, I mean it doesn't get rid of pain, it might for some people, um, but it definitely like just soothes the area um, and it definitely reduces pain I think they're brilliant definitely I swear by my hot water bottle and I know a lot of other people do as well um, the next thing is a hot bath um, that's also meant to be very um, beneficial so also try that um, and now I'm going to move on to painkillers um, so I'm not sure how to pronounce this <laughs> so it's N-S-A-I-D-S like yeah, N-S-A-I-D-D-S. So, such as anyway. <laughs> um, ibuprofen and Voltarol. Um, so what they do is, um, is they block the prostaglandin um, production in your body. Um, so what you want to do ideally is um, take um, these uh, drugs before especially before you're due your period, try taking them a few days before you're due to come on because what happens is um, you need, they don't, they're not as effective um, in for pain if the prostaglandins have already taken hold, if that makes sense. So you want to get the painkiller in there before your body starts producing prostaglandins for the maximum pain reduction effect, if that makes sense. Um, so a lot of people find these painkillers very helpful. Um, now for me, as I mentioned, I've got IBS. So, and I know a lot of you do as well. Um, so, um, you've got to be a bit careful anyway with things like ibuprofen, especially if you've got IBSD or a lot of like, you know, gastric symptoms like acid reflux, um, seems to be common with endo as well. Just a lot of stomach problems seem to be common. So um, it can upset your stomach, so just be careful if you do have a problem like that. Like I actually can't take them unfortunately, which is annoying because I actually find them very good for pain. But for me it's not worth adding a load of like stomach symptoms in because for me that's what I suffer with most. Um, so yeah, um, they're very good, but if you've got a stomach problem just um, be wary. Um, and to also make sure you take them with food don't, not on an empty stomach. Um, so the next one on the list um, is codeine based painkillers. I find this extremely helpful, this is the best one for me personally. Obviously, as I always say, everyone's different, so different things are going to help different people. Um, now again, with codeine, if you suffer with constipation, be careful because it can make you constipated. Um, you know, and obviously if you're constipated, especially on your period, it's really painful. Um, if you've got endometriosis on your bowel, like me. Um, so yeah, you don't really want to be constipated. You want to be sort of just soft motions, you know. Um, 
just um so yeah if you suffer with constipation anyway just um be careful with them um because they may cause constipation um but they are meant to be an effective pain reliever though um it's best to speak to your doctor about all of these anyway um i would definitely recommend that you do that before you take any of them um i'm not a medical professional also as i do always say in my videos now um <laughs> You know, I'm just a sufferer myself. So, um, yes, after doing lots of research, this is everything I found anyway. So the next one on the list, the list, I mean, oh my God, can't speak. So it's paracetamol. Um, now that's just for mild pain. I mean, for me, if I'm in a lot of pain, it's not gonna do anything at all. And I'm sure a lot of you find the same. But if you just feel the beginnings of pain, then they can be helpful. Um, so yeah, see how you go with uh, those as well. Um, I mean, you know, paracetamol is pretty straightforward. You don't, I mean, I would just say you can just try it, you know. I'd say with the other speech your doctor, maybe if you've got stomach problems, but paracetamol, very gentle on your stomach and stuff, so that's good. Um, now the next one is pain modifying medication. Um, so what it does is it works by altering your body's perception to pain. Um, drugs that are commonly used are some forms of antidepressants, especially amitriptyline, that's a really common one. Um, so what they do is they have an effect um, on the nervous system. Um, and the way the body manages pain. So when you get pain messages traveling through your body's central nervous system, and what these drugs do is they um, can help stop these messages from reaching your brain. So therefore, it should stop the pain or reduce it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't know a lot about these actually before. Um, I was given amitriptyline for migraine. Um, sorry, I've got a surgeon that she knows. Um, and um, I didn't carry them on, um, actually. They did make me feel quite like hungover and tired, so. But yeah, um, you know, they could be really good for you. So go and speak to your doctor about those if you're interested. Um, or if you're finding that other things aren't working. Um, yeah, interesting. So obviously you've got, uh, that's what I've been researching. These are the ones that are typically used. I know that some people do need even stronger medications, like Oromorph, um, uh, yeah, and stuff like that. So if you're finding that these aren't working for you, please go back to your specialist or your GP and work out a plan that works for you because it's no good living in pain every single day of your life. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully some of these will work for you. Um, you know, but like I said, go and see your doctor if you're unsure of anything, um, or if you've got any kind of stomach problems, especially with both, some of the ones at the beginning, you know, speak to a doctor first I mean that's always best if you're unsure about anything um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this video um, if you do want to see a video um, on alternative holistic therapies please drop a comment below um, and also please please keep your requests coming in I much prefer making videos that are requested um, if this has been helpful please do give it a thumbs up I know not my, my videos aren't going to help everybody, but if I can help just one person, then that's only a good thing. I purely make these videos just to make your lives a bit easier because, like, I know how hard it is living with this condition. Um, and I like watching people on YouTube. I find it kind of therapeutic and it's nice to know that you're not alone. Um, you know, I'm always here if you want to speak to anyone. If you've got any questions for me, please let me know and i just enjoy making them as well so um so yeah please do give it a thumbs up and please please do subscribe um i'm uploading quite regularly i don't know if i mentioned at the beginning i've got a new camera i think i did <laughs> um so yeah i'm my content should hopefully improve from now um you should be able to hear me a bit better as well hopefully um so yeah um i'll speak to you guys soon and don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe I'll speak to you soon.